Hello. I just wanted to do a quick comparison between three of the cheapest ways to read Golden and Silver Age DC comics, just in case you didn't have a local comic shop where you can compare these side by side. Most of the videos on YouTube have people showing off their collections of all the books in a series, but they only have one type of these books, so you can't really get an idea of the differences between the different type of books. I'm just a guy who wants to read these stories as cheap as possible. So we've got the Golden and Silver Age paperback books, we've got the DC Archive collections, and then we've got these Golden and Silver Age omnibuses. All of them are great. All of them are economical ways to enjoy these books. I'm just discussing the physical differences between the books, not like the restoration quality, which I understand is a problem with some of these. In addition to these, there's also books like the DC Chronicles uh, paperback series, which had some decent runs for Batman and Superman, but in general, uh, they they had pretty limited runs for everything else. So uh, um, they're not significantly cheaper than anything here, so I'm just not including them. We'll start with the Silver Age Supergirl Volume 1, and I couldn't find a name for these books as a series. I'm just calling them the Golden and Silver Age paperbacks. They look very similar to the omnibuses if you're just looking at a stock photo. These books are a phenomenal deal. They're $20 to $30 MSRP and have three to 400 pages full color. Paper quality isn't the absolute best, but it's still very good. It's much better than standard newsprint paper that you get in some of these older DC collections. Uh, it collects all stories in order and used. Some of these books are just ridiculously cheap. The cheapest I got one, I got a Justice League volume three is less than like six bucks on eBay shipped. So... For my money, this is the best deal you can get on these old comics, if your book is printed in this format. So next I've got an archive edition of Batman, and this is probably the most expensive way to go with this archive series. These started out at $50. Most of them you can find a lot cheaper. They're somewhere in the range of 220 pages, which is a good uh, good size to read without getting overwhelmed. Uh, the paper stock, it's noticeably thicker and waxier than the paperback. Uh, despite the hardcover being a little bigger, the pages are exactly the same size, so you're not getting anything there. And the one thing to note about these is that it collects books more than so than it collects characters. So Detective has a different book than Batman does. Action Comics has a different book than Superman. Uh, it just makes it a little harder to read chronologically, if that's your real goal here. Finally, there's this giant tome. These are the Golden and Silver Age Omnibuses, which is not a format I generally like. I find these books to be too large and unwieldy to easily read. But this Wonder Woman book was only 40 bucks, and it's got nearly 800 pages. Uh, so in terms of value, these are really hard to beat when they're on sale. The paper and print quality is all very similar to the archive editions. If there's a difference, I can't really tell. The omnibus, the pages are slightly larger than either of the other two books, so that is one bonus you get from buying this giant book. Uh, it also has a sewn binding, which is very nice. And finally, just for comparison's sake, here's a comic just so you can see the size of these different books. Obviously, Golden Age books weren't printed on the same size as this Green Lantern Corps, but it's something to give you a general size reference of, of all three books here. So, final thoughts. If I had to pick a favorite, it would be the Silver and Golden Age paperbacks. They're just the perfect size. The price can't be beat, and the print and paper quality is more than adequate. Archive editions, they're fine, they're just too expensive in the long run, and it's nice how the other books print the different books chronologically in order, so you don't have to jump around between different archive editions. And I've already said the omnibuses, they're just too big for me, they're excellent quality, it's just I don't like how big the books are, so I'm going to avoid them unless there's crazy deals like this Wonder Woman, which was 40 bucks. So, hope this helps someone. See ya.